Okay, what we're going to do is install and then reinstall and then update with a with a newer version and just show how all the installing works. So we'll just run the installer and it'll go next, next. Now it's ready, so you click next again. Then I'll wait for the user account control. You can't see this, but it's happening in the background. It doesn't record that, but it'll ask you for user account control. And there it made the little icon and you click close and away you go. Double click on the desktop and run Angle Open GPS. And it'll remember anything that you did here. Let me make it a little bigger. And so there it is, it runs and it works. Now if you run this again, you can either repair or remove it. So if you mess something up or something doesn't work or there's a missing image file or something's weird, just do a reinstall as long as the same version. The alternate way is to go and remove programs and double click on I go open GPS. Are you sure you want to install? Yes. And it'll uninstall it. There it's asking for user account control, which you can't see. And then it gets rid of it. Okay, simple enough. Let's just install it again quickly. There now it's going to appear. Now I go open GPS is installed again. Now this time we're going to run a newer version. So this is like the next version up. Next, and it's the same thing. It doesn't even ask if you want to overwrite it. It will just update the current version. You don't have to uninstall it, that sort of thing. So it'll ask for user account control again. Yes. There you see it disappeared and it came back again. Close. And then now we run it. Even though we updated it, it should still look the same. And there you go. It all works. But if you run 104 now, it'll say repair or remove. There. Okay, hope that makes sense.